Hi all, welcome back. Today I am going to perform a small uh, lab uh, deploying a Palo Alto firewall uh, in Big FI lab. So earlier we had connected to uh, this which is connected to the user. So as of now I removed that one. I have connected, uh, connected that interface to the firewall and uh, we have connected one isp router so the user will hit from internet and it will go through via isp router and through through destination net the user will hit the uh, uh, vip of uh, big ip so as of now i have not configured anything in the palo alto fire uh, isp router so we will uh, uh, configure and we will do a destination net to the to VIP to raise our backend servers. So like, right now we will will start. Uh, so it's uh, connected to the management interface that is uh, DHCP is configured. So let access this one 192 192.168.238.213 we require uh, two zones one is for outside and another one is for dmz uh, as of now i have not configured for any internal just our purpose is to hit uh, uh, the request has to come from the outside and it, it will hit to the first firewall then it the firewall will translate uh, that ip to the internal ip and it will reach to the web server so go to the network interface so i have a uh, two interface connected one is for the e3 and e3 is for dmz and e1 is for outside create uh, uh, zones first zones this is for outside zone type is layer 3 okay and one more is uh, uh, dmz type is layer 3 click on ok so we go to zones go to the interfaces outside interface is connected to outside and interface type is layer 3 and default route uh, virtual router is default select the outside interface a zone ip is uh, for outside i am using the 180 .2. So we will add it 192.168.100.2 slash 24 subnet mask and we don't have any IPv6 go to the advanced and management profile so I will create one management profile so this is for management profile so I will, as of now I will select HTTP, HTTPS, SSH and ping click on ok so one interface uh, ethernet 1.1 one one slash 1 is configured and go to the ethernet 1 slash 3 connected to dmz and interface type is layer 3 and virtual router is by default i am selecting by default dmz security zone is dmc and ipv4 address is so what i have done is 192 168.230.2 192.168.230.2/24 and go to the advanced tab and select the management profile. So we got the two interface, uh, ETH1 and ETH3. Go to the virtual router. So we will add a default route towards outside. So static route. Mention default default route destination is anything an interface which is connected to outside and IP address next hop is 192.168.100.1 okay, so click on OK 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 before proceeding further so let's configure this router Okay, 
Tables name ISP router interface as zero by zero IP address is one ninety two one sixty eight hundred dot one with a slash twenty four subnet mask no shut and outside interface interface f one slash zero IP address is one ninety two one sixty eight two thirty eight dot two one five The slash 24 subnet mask no shut to show IP interface so we got the two interfaces configured so let's do ping the Google definitely will it will not have it will not reach to Google why because we don't have any default route towards the internet so let's configure the default route IP route any that any network subnet mask send it to 192 is my next stop okay. ping it yeah it's reachable now okay there's the configuration Okay, let's ping from this one ping 192.168.100. From my PC, I'm trying to ping the the type. It's not reachable, so we need to add a route. Persistent route a route hyphen p and 192.168.100. Network and mask is. 255.255.255.0 and the next hop is 192.168.238. Dot this IP address 215 IP address 215. Let's try to ping the it's now it's pinging to 100.1. We will do 100.2. Okay, 100.2 will not be reachable. Why? Because we have not committed the changes to the power to. Okay, now go to the policies. Okay, we need we need uh, one NAT IP to NAT the. Uh, we will take one NAT IP. One ninety two one sixty eight hundred dot by or anything whichever you wanted. So it will be NATed to one ninety two one sixty eight two thirty dot one fifty one fifty is my VIP of. Uh, uh, F5. So go to the policies. So first I will do a netting and so when can mention web server, web server, web server net. Original packet is coming from outside and heading to a outside interface. A destination interface is anything. Service is anything source is any and destination it is sitting to our outside IP outside IP so I wanted to add our 192.168.100.5 uh, IP click on ok oh sorry I miss, missed the translation packet translated to destination and dest translation type should be static IP I am translating to 192.168.100.5 30 dot 150 that is my fi vip so i wanted to translate it to this ip so you can uh, translation uh, translated port you can keep it as blank because i'm use i want to use three I, uh, ports one is http https and ssh so click on ok so my net uh, rule is ready so go to the security you need to create a security rule so web server rule okay. source is my so the request is coming from outside so source would be outside destination is my dmg 
and it is heading to the IP address of outside 192.168.99.5 so it is heading to the 99.5 so when it uh, that destination address will be uh, this one and application is any services I wanted to use HTTP, HTTPS and SSH Okay, services I have added uh, HTTP, HTTP, SSH and action is allowed if you want to uh, log at the session stand as well so we can select that option click on ok so my security rule is also ready so let's verify okay so, so everything is like okay commit the changes meanwhile i will uh, restart the services for this service network restart so i have restarted the services for the server one similarly for the server two as well service network restart Network restart. So I have started the services for all the three uh, server. So let's try to ping whether I am able to reach it or not. So I will yeah, I am able to reach to the hundred dot two. So if everything is working fine, then I should be able to reach the web server with the 100.5 I think I am uh, mentioned wrong uh, IP address here it's 100.5 so click on ok click on commit Let's wait to finish this commit and we can try using 100.5. Yeah, here I can able to reach server 1, web server 1, refresh web server 3, web server 2. Yeah, so in, uh, in going forward, we will use this uh, method. We will uh, we have deployed a uh, Paul Alto in front of uh, FI. So we can do a SSS as well. Uh, 192, 168, 100.5. Yes, I can able to take a SSS as well. Root and password. Actually, it's sitting to the 20.1. So uh, this is uh, now this kind of scenarios you can see in uh, real life as well because uh, uh, web server will directly will not hit to the VIP so it will first it will hit to the uh, perimeter firewall any other firewalls just for the security purpose so once it is hit to the firewall then that IP address will be translated to the internal IP address then it will hit to the VIP. So I hope uh, this video has been informative for you and I would like to say thank you for watching.